Hey, welcome to Live Chat University. In today's lesson, we're going to be talking about the archive section, the reports section, and how to download reports. Let's do this. Let's start off with the archive section. All of your past conversations are stored in archives. It really comes in handy when you want to look for patterns and repeating cases, train new agents using old chats, as well as simply checking the conversation history with a certain customer. Let's go and open up archives. So once we do that, we'll see an archive chat list on the left. Now, this is a list of all of your previous conversations. Now, what's cool is that if you want to look for a specific chat or a specific group of chats, you can use the search bar here or you can use the filters. Now, you can also sort the chats by date. If you want to view all conversations with a specific customer, you can skip search and click on the chat with a specific customer and go into details right here you'll find a view all chats where you'll find all the previous conversations with a specific customer. Now let's go back to search for a second. There are a lot of conditions that you can filter by like group, location, or sales. Now, by default, the filters are connected with an OR operator, meaning that if you set two conditions or more for one filter, the results will show all the chats that meet at least one of the conditions. So that's a little overview of the archive section. Now let's get into all the things you can try out, change around, or find here. If you'd like to keep an additional archive of your chats, you can do that. Now this can come in handy if you need to keep past chats on file for all of your agents. So when you open up archives, you want to go to the chat feed and click on the three dots icon in the top right corner, then click on download transcript or send transcript to email. So that's how you can get a transcript of a chat with a customer. For starter plans, your transcript will be available for up to 60 days. For all the other plans, they will be always available. Next, tags. So tags are labels that you add to chats. They help you categorize and organize all customer communication in your live chat account. You can use them to filter results and archives as well as narrow down data in reports. For example, tags such as hashtag complaints help identify weak points in your product or service. Admins and the owner can create tags to be used by all agents. Let's say you are introducing a new product to your store. You can create a tag for the product to see how much interest it raised. Now, to do that, you want to go to settings, tags, and right here you can enter the name of the tag and you can use up to 70 characters for that. If you want to create a tag for a specific group, which only agents belonging to that group will see, then you can open up set up for group right here and simply select the group. And you can save it by clicking on add tag. And that's it. You can edit and remove tags from the list at any time. When you want to see what customer questions you had regarding your latest product, you can filter the chats by the tag and you can see how many chats there were and what were the customer's questions. Here's how you can do that. You want to go into archives and you want to click on add filter. Choose tag from the list and select a tag you want to use to filter your results. Now we're going to go with support. Now we can see the whole list of chats that were tagged by support. Right, so let's move on to details. We wanna open up archives once again and click on a chat, and here you'll find details. Now, this is a lot of useful information about the archive chat. It's all stored in one panel, so you have all the essential data close at hand. Now, there are many different types of widgets and details. There's the customer info, um, the chat info, the pre-chat form if you do have one, and a lot more. So it's definitely worth checking out. That's all for the archive section. Let's dive into the reports section. So reports are always useful. They give you an overview of how live chat and your agents are performing. Now reports are available on the team, business, and enterprise plans. So if you're on the starter plan and want to check out the reports before upgrading, feel free to go to livechat.com and start a chat with us. So let me show you what the reports section can do for you. Now, let's go open up our reports. And here on the sidebar, we have many categories and various different types of reports to choose from. Now we won't be going through all of them today, but we'll pick a few. Right, let's start from the top. So we have summary and we have our last seven days report. Now this gives you a general idea of what is going on in your license. 
you know, showing you metrics like the number of chats or sales or tickets and chat satisfaction. It's an easy, quick check. Next, let's go to dashboard. So we want to click on open dashboard. And here we can view the most important live chat metrics all at once. And you can actually put the dashboard on your wall and monitor. Next, we have chats. So there are many reports in the chats category. They show you all the info about your agent's conversations. Now from the number of chats per day um, and hours of activity to the form in which your customers initiate conversation with your agents, the number of missed chats and customer satisfaction. Now this is where you'll find all the reports from your chats. The next category in the sidebar is agents. You can find your agent's performance report, chat response times, a staffing prediction, and agent activity reports here. And the next category is customers. Now here's where you find the queued customers report and queue abandonment report. The queued customers report shows how many customers waited in the queue and how many left before getting connected to an agent. You can check the average waiting time before entering a chat and how long it takes for your customers to get impatient and leave the queue. The queue abandonment report gives you the list of visitors who left the queue before talking to an agent. You can follow up on them and catch potential customers that slip through the cracks. Right, that's enough of the customers category. Let's move on to e-commerce. We have two reports here, achieved goals report, where you can see how many goals you've accomplished and tracked sales reports. Now you actually have to install the sales tracker to your online shop to see exactly which chats bring you revenue. It can help you measure how many sales you made and how much money precisely they brought to your business. If sales are an essential part of you using live chat, then keeping track of this report is a must. Now, depending on what metric you wanna track, you can use a different set of reports. Some of the reports can also be used to serve different purposes. For example, you can use the chat satisfaction report to evaluate an individual agent's work, as well as keep track of the general satisfaction of your customers. Right, let's export the data to create our own report. Now you can download the report if you are on a team plan or higher. To do that, let's just quickly pick a report that we want and go here to export CSV to download our report to our computer in the CSV format. Lastly, I want to briefly talk about custom reports and configuration API documentation. You can create custom reports by pulling live chat data using our configuration API. Now the API is fully documented, which will make the task easy. Simply create a request and save the results to a file that could be later on interpreted using Excel. If you're interested or would like to learn about it, you'll find a link in the description. Right, I think I haven't missed anything. So that's all for this lesson and see you soon.